glimpsing into the future live. This is Rackspace's continuing coverage of TechCrunch Disrupt 2013. Now here's Robert Scoble. Hey, I'm Robert Scoble. Welcome to Rackspace's studio at TechCrunch Disrupt 2013. We're meeting a lot of innovators, entrepreneurs, people who are changing the world, doing interesting stuff. Today we have uh, an ag aggregator, which is aggregating email and social network stuff together to build a little bit of a contextual system. We're going to see Engine right now. Very so cool. who are you? I'm David Johnston. I'm the CEO of Engine, and uh, here just to show you a demo today. Yeah. Very cool. And so wh what is Engine? Why do we need it? So we're all sort of stuck in this information overload, right? So many emails, so much information coming at us. And I think part of what makes it so bad is we have all these different verticals we live in, right? I've got an iPhone, so I've got all my Apple products, but I also have all my Google applications, Facebook and so forth. So our goal is really sort of to defracture people's user experience and let them connect together all their different applications. And then when they get an email, and somebody's asking for something, instead of leaving what I'm doing to go find that information in a different application, the idea is Engine brings the information to me automatically based on the context of the email. Who's emailing me, what the email's about, you know, all the different information I have for my different programs. So does it connect like LinkedIn and Facebook exactly. and Twitter? Because I'm getting direct messages on all these services and they're all their own information store. I really hate it, by the yeah. way. I, I know. know. Because uh, their email works because I can copy you, I can forward it, I can That's right. you know do other things with email that I and I can search it, which I right. can't do on uh, Facebook, and I can put it in folders, which I can't do right. on Twitter or Facebook. Exactly, and so that's that's the core idea: is you're able to connect your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, your Tumblr, whatever you use for your communication streams, and then when you're inside Gmail, shows up as a Chrome extension for Gmail on the sidebar, so it's right there. There's a search bar right on top and you can look for anything from all the different sources. Now, is this a free service, or how do you guys monetize? It's sort of uh, the Dropbox model, so everybody can set up an account for free, connect their stuff, we'll index the first 10,000 items, uh, which is more than enough for most people. For like our top 10% power users, they can upgrade to the pro version. Okay, so you get more items. Exactly, I, so I a freemium model. I think 20,000 or 30,000 emails or something. Like that. We had one guy who had a quarter million emails in one inbox. Wow. It's incredible how much information people have. So yeah, yeah. yeah, we're trying to solve that. So what does it do? I, and maybe we can sure. get a little demo and uh, see what, yeah, this is like just if you're in Gmail, what would it help you do as Ex you're working through your uh, email stuff? Exactly, so this is our landing page. You can see I'll go to my account right now. Uh, hopefully it pulls up here. You can see I've connected up my uh, Facebook, four different email accounts, calendar, contacts, LinkedIn. But then I can also connect up 28 uh, total different sources of data. And so once I've set up my account, I've installed the Chrome extension, big button up here on the top. You go back to your Gmail and you open it up an email. And the idea is somebody's asking me a question and what I want is related messages to what I'm looking at. So the core use case is somebody says, hey, you know, where are those notes from last week? We talked about the website update, right? And that might be stored in Dropbox, it might be stored somewhere else. And the idea is Engine is automatically seeing the context of the email and trying to pull that up. So for instance, yeah. we're talking about uh, the beta version right now, and they're asking about what people think about the current version, and here's previous feedback about the beta on the same topic. Right? That's so cool. it's brought that up. And for people that already have like a reporter or something that installed, that just gets pushed a little bit further down. But you can also just bring it up and there's your reporter. So you can have multiple extensions. You're going to have to choose between the two because we know power users already have something in this space. So we've tried to make it um, easy to use for everybody. So there's three core features that we're building out right now. We launched the beta at South by Southwest yep. in March around this related messages feature. Yep. The next thing we're launching is the related contacts. So this is, and we're just filling this out right now, but basically you have all your detailed, we're hitting full contact API, and we'll pull in all your emails and all your phone numbers and all sort of your social buttons and things like that. The thing we haven't launched yet, but that we're going to launch and it's coming soon is the agenda portion, which is show me the most important things from all my different sources of data that I might be missing right now if I'm not logged into them. And yeah. so sort of a contextually aware calendar. Oh, that's that cool. pulls everything together. So you're going to be competing with uh, uh, Tempo AI or something like that, trying, right. to, trying exactly. to bring in interesting uh, information. 
Now, do you do your servers have access to my Google, my Gmail, and my Facebook, and all that stuff? Or? So the way we've set it up is we're using OAuth two yeah. for authentication, right? So somebody can log in once and get access. Um, we don't actually have a username and password. You log in through Google. So you're essentially outsourcing a lot of our security to Google and through Google. Yeah. Um, we do use AWS. It goes through our servers when it's indexing. Yeah. But we're not actually restoring a copy of everything. Right? We leave your Gmails and Gmail. We're just storing an index. So it's sort of, you know, if you will, the Google approach of here's the index and we know where to point when we find the contextually relevant information. There it is over there. We yeah. pull it in live and real time from wherever source it is. Very so, cool. Yeah. Um, what are you learning by doing this? I, I, you know, where do you think this is going to go? Um, I think where this is going to go is intelligent actions. So I see this as a three-step process. First step is we need to aggregate everything in your digital life. Yeah. Second step is we need to have a contextually aware index of that information. The third step, what really gets me excited, is intelligent actions on top of that. Yeah. Ultimately, I want Engine to answer my email. If I'm always forwarding this to the same person at the same time, we should be able to see that behavior now that we have these other two layers and say, would you like to forward this email automatically? Or, you know, we see that you're responding in this way with this information, we'll compose it for you. And that's really where I think we can go is because there's a lot of low-hanging fruit. We did a study recently and 50% of emails are replies. And at least for me, another 30% were just forwards, yeah. right? It's the old 80-20 rule. Most of the information is these manual requests for information yeah. that you already have the data, but it's stored somewhere else. Yeah. But this is a huge pain point. I mean, the average office worker now spends three to four hours a day answering email. Yeah. I mean, it's almost half of their productive working hours. And so if we can take a chunk out of that with the low-hanging fruit and then work our way up the difficulty, that's sort of the, really the vision here. Yeah, that's really interesting stuff. Yeah. And I, I certainly like the contextual stuff that you're heading toward, right. uh, figuring out where the value is here and bringing it all together. Um, how are you guys funded? Uh, how does uh, how does this company being built? Uh, we did a seed round last year uh, for 150,000. We did a half million dollar angel round uh, this year, and we'll be doing uh, another fundraising round next year. Probably our first institutional round, yeah. but mostly angels so far. But we're starting to talk with VCs and also strategics in this space. I think. There's going to be a lot of activity in this space in the next couple of years, and we'd like to work with uh, the right yeah. company that sort of gets this. Do you only this work with Gmail, or do you work on top of Exchange or Outlook as well? We're, we have it on our roadmap for Exchange in the next few months as part of our 1.0. Yeah. We're launching the 1.0 in November, December this year, and that's part of what we're pulling in. But we currently pull in just about everything that uses IMAP. Yeah. So Gmail and Yahoo and AOL and everything. You can index it all, but it only shows up right now in Gmail as a Chrome extension. Yeah. But as part of the 1.0, we'll be expanding to the rest of uh, the different browsers, so Safari and Firefox. And so and does Google. that mean mobile's on the roadmap too? Because I do a lot of my email on yeah. a tablet or on a, an Android phone. So. Exactly, though I think the use case will be a little bit different for mobile. People tend to use mobile very intentionally. I'm going to go do this one thing with this app. And so, but I think it can be even more powerful and mobile because, you know, it's about getting access to the right information at the right time. So I'm excited about, you know, not only mobile, but Glass and other products like that that are going to give us even more context about yeah. what the person is doing. But these are uh, not good for a really long email where you need to look something up. That's right. It's really good for a short one, like, are you going to meet me outside of two? Yeah, exactly. I'm going to meet you outside of two. Yeah, it's a different yeah. use case. Yeah. We looked at the, you know, everybody says, well, email's all moving to mobile. Yes and no. People do a lot of, uh, you know, essentially uh, delegating email from mobile, right? I'll yeah. get to this later or talk to you soon or forward it to somebody that needs to respond to Triage. it. Triage. Triage is good. That's exactly yeah. it, right? But when you get back to your laptop and you got to write you know, something in depth, most people do that from, from their laptop. But we want this to go way Tablets beyond. Tablets are changing that a bit. It's true. Particularly when you get a keyboard on the tablet, stuff like right. that. But the goal is not sort of, email is just like our sandbox for this. Yeah. The goal is to get into every website that you visit, everywhere you go, to have that contextually relevant information sort of bubble up to the top and be available. Very cool. So. Um, excellent. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we get it at, uh, where, where do we get it? So you can just go to engine.co yeah. and download. Uh, we're launching the, uh, the open beta. And so people are able to, uh, to get a copy today, get their stuff indexed, download the Chrome extension, and 
go from there. Cool. And we'll have to talk to you about getting off of AWS and on the Rackspace, <laughs> on the Rackspace cloud. It. So thank all you right. very much. Sounds good, Robert. Anyways, uh, all day long we're going to be doing interviews with interesting entrepreneurs and innovators, mostly around mo uh, wearable computers, but uh, a little bit of contextual stuff too to learn how, how developers are attacking this world and assisting us in living our lives. Uh, we'll be back in about 20 or 30 minutes with another one, so thank you very much and uh, keep joining us all day from TechCrunch Disrupt 2013. Seeing into the future live. Rackspace's okay. continuous coverage of TechCrunch Disrupt 2013 will continue in a moment. You've got code to write. Let us manage the rest. Find out more at Rackspace.com.